suffering for. <laughs> I've never seen a man get in water before. <laughs> now, you are a strange lot, I must say. That's uh, Now, listen, settle down now, please. That's it. Settle down now, please. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm all well. I wish I'd put me waterproof knickers on. <laughs> never mind. Now, settle down now and please no untoward tittering. <coughs> Greetings, good citizens. The prologue. <laughs> Our story tonight concerns Samson and Delilah. Delilah. Now, Delilah was a beautiful woman. She was beautiful, be beautiful, austere, and very, very talented. And she ran a barber shop. <laughs> now, <laughs> Samson, known to all the wrestling fans as Sam the Ram, <laughs> <laughs> Please, please, you're tittering now. He was very handsome, very big, very muscular, and he had hair down to here and, well, everywhere, really. <laughs> and on the day in question, he was trolling uh, through uh, Delilah's uh, hairdressing emporium. He was going there for his chest, you see, to, to have it uh, permed and styled. <laughs> and uh, it came to pass. Oh, 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 and thrice, Here she is, your favourite of mine, <laughs> son of the soothsayer. Mm. Available for wakes and funerals. I have been in communication with the stars. Have you? And I have had inter intercourse with Venus. I beg your pardon? <laughs> what did you say that again? I have had intercourse with Venus. All the things. I wouldn't dare say that. <laughs> I wouldn't get away with things like that. Oh. The signs are all against those who wish to travel the path of true love. Oh, I see. It's a one way, is it? I see. Gemini. In opposition to Taurus. Taurus? And in juxtaposition to Virgo. Virgo? Oh, well, she won't be Virgo much longer than we'll see. <laughs> scoff not! Scoff not! Scoff not! Well, I said scoff not! They've been drinking scoff mixture. Scoff! <laughs> the prediction is that any alliance between man and woman will only lead to trouble. That's not a prediction, that's a foregone conclusion. That's <laughs> I thought it was you all the time. It was very, isn't that clever? Beware, oh. beware, oh. beware. Oh, poor soul. I do feel sorry for her. No, she's a, she can't help it. She's embittered, you know. Oh, she's terribly embittered, poor soul. I do feel sorry for her. Well, you, did you see that ring on her finger? That ring on her finger? Well, apparently, that, I gather this. This, that was given to her when she was 18 by the man she loved. Then he left her. And, of course, she's never had it off since. And it is... <laughs> I know you haven't come here to listen to gossip, so we shall continue. <laughs> continue with the prologue. Now, it came to pass... Lucky that... you? Oh, yes, yes, mistress. Lucky you, come inside quickly. My guest, Dextrous Secundus, is leaving now. Oh, now. That's funny. He's only been in there ten minutes. <laughs> I wonder why she called him a guest. I thought he was a dressmaker, cos she told me he'd come to try something new on her. <laughs> Ah, there must have been some misunderstanding. And it's in your minds. <laughs> Lurky, you give him his things. Ah, uh, yes, mister. Oh, what did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? Daring to ask me, the wife of one of Pompey's leading senators, to go away with you for the wee thing. And to Ithaca. Oh, I thought you'd like it. Like it? Have you no sense of propriety? Besides, Ithaca's a dump. Lurkio, show him the door. Yes, miss. It's that painted thing with knobs on. <laughs> what? Uh, no, miss. It's not you. The door. The door. Really, Lurkio, enough of this nonsense. Show him out. Yes, mistress. Come along, sir. There we are. Very well. Then go to Hades. Oh, oh you should have said that before. Oh. And Hades is so much more fashionable. And so much warmer, mistress. Oh, <laughs> right. But, Lurkio, if Dexter should call again, tell him I am not available. Oh, yes, mistress. Very well. Not available. Oh, well. Would you believe it? I never thought I'd live to see the day my mistress would say she's not available. <laughs> well, oh, it's no secret. It's no secret. She's man-mad. She's known around here as the gardener. <laughs> she is the gardener, because she, she goes from bed to bed. <laughs> Isn't this witty? Isn't it? <laughs> please yourself. No, there's nothing she likes better than a good rake round the border. <laughs> That's why we can't keep any borders here, you see. <laughs> I can't think why she's got rid of that chap so quickly. Unless she's turned over a new leaf. 
new leaf. <laughs> Gardens, right? Oh, come on, this is so subtle. It's going to waste. We've been rehearsing this whole week. Well, you mightn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> ah, do you know something? I think that old bag cinema was right. I think the path of true love is going to find difficulty after all. Well, it doesn't concern me because I don't need paths. I don't have any paths of true love. So let's continue with the prologue. It came to pass oh, that happy, happy day. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is my master's young son, Norseus. Oh. oh, rapture, rapture. Oh, <laughs> he's a silly boy. He's always rapturing himself. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, young master. I have such wonderful news. Where's mother and father? Oh, uh, your um, your father. He's down in the in the marketplace handing out food to the needy. And mother? Yes, she's in her bedroom, handing it out too. I think we can safely say that. Yes. Oh, well, never mind, Lucio. I've got such wonderful news. Have you? I've met the most marvelous, wonderful girl. Have you? Yes. Ah. Oh, Lucio, she's an angel. Is she? So pure and innocent. Oh. I had to give it to her straight away. <laughs> You did? My gold signet ring. <laughs> I see. She is a lucky girl, isn't she? Hello, well, Kyo. I'll what? tell you another thing. What? She knows what it's for. Yeah, well, they usually do these days, don't they? <laughs> yes, to express my undying love for her. Yes. Uh, I suppose, young master, as you're so excited, you haven't had time to dash off a little teens weenie ode or anything, have oh, you? Oh, yes, I have. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, we've missed that, haven't we? Yeah. May I harangue the assembled populace with this? Please. Mm. <clears throat> Ode to my one and only love. Ah, sweet. So pure and chaste. I felt. Oh, what the hell? I went all by then. Look at that. <laughs> so pure and chaste, I found my love. I felt a different man. I thought I'd go clean round the bend and flush right down <laughs> to the roots of my hair. I couldn't think of an apt rhyme there. Well, you will at your convenience. <laughs> Well, young master, are you betrothed? Yes, Lurkio. She accepted me immediately. Did she? We have plighted our troth. Oh, you cheeky little plighter, isn't it? <laughs> you to be wed. Are you to be wed? And to live in eternal bliss. Oh, oh I can't wait to tell my no, parents. No, no. Oh, dear, it's marvellous. Oh, we're to be wed. Oh, dear. <gasps> we're going to have a wedding in the family. Isn't it marvellous? When was the last time I went to a wedding? Let me see now. Yes, oh, yes, my mother's. I remember that. <laughs> now... The thing is, what shall I give that young boy for a wedding present? Now, uh, let me think, a compendium of games. No, I think he'll get plenty to play with when he's married. <laughs> let me think now. Uh, let me think of something he's never had. No. <laughs> She'll be giving him that, so no problem. <laughs> hey, you're right, a rhyming dictionary. Thank you for your... Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I'll get that. How do I look? Fine, dear, fine. Oh, good. I must look my best when I meet Norseus' is betrothed. <laughs> Don't start crying again, Ammonia. Oh, I can't help it. Oh, my son, my little baby getting married. It seems that only yesterday he was lying there on the rug playing with his dolly. <laughs> this is an occasion for rejoicing of only a fashionable wedding, all the best families invited. You know, it might do me a, a bit of good politically. Mm. Oh, ludicrous. Ludicrous? Yes. Have you told him about the facts of life? Facts? What facts? Oh, for heaven's sake. How babies are made. Oh, that. No, no. You know, I was I was never very much good at that sort of thing. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. Someone will have to tell him. Uh, master, I, I was wondering if... The very person. <laughs> um? Ludicrous. Go down to the wine cellar and bring up one of our best bottles of wine. Uh, yes, dear. Uh, look, you, what is the best wine? Oh, the one from Germania, Master. Yes, it's the Hick High Cock. Oh, yes. Lurkio, yes, come over here a moment. Here? Yes, now, sit down there. I want to have a little talk with you. Do you? Yes, it's about this business of the facts of life. I, oh, well, thank you, Mistress. But I was already told about those at school. Oh, yes. yes, by your tutor, of course. Oh, no, by the girl lying on the next desk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
yes. Well, like you, I didn't intend giving oh. you a talk. Oh. No, I want you to explain it all to Norseus. Oh, I couldn't presume to do, to do that, mistress. I mean, that's the task of a father, isn't it? Oh, alas, my husband cannot bring himself to do it. Oh, uh, well, but surely he can't have forgotten how to do it, surely. <laughs> How do I look? look yes, yes, fine. Yes, Miss. Show yes, them in now. Yes. Show them in. Enter, young master. Enter. Enter. Oh, here you are. Yes. Well, here she is. Evening, all. <laughs> Later, this is Nymphia. How do you do? <laughs> oh, I do pretty well, Tar. How about you? <laughs> oh, very well, thank you. Yeah, yeah I bet you're doing all. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Lurkio. Yes, mistress. Lurkio, yes. perhaps you would show Nymphia where to powder her nose. Uh, to, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Certainly, mistress. Yes. Oh, don't bother. I know where to powder it. Right here. <laughs> Common as muck. <laughs> yes, mistress didn't mean that. She wanted to know if you'd like to. Well, if you if you want to go somewhere. But I only just got here. Uh, Common of the muck. <laughs> you mean, do I want to go to the lab? Oh, <laughs> muck itself. <laughs> I don't want to go. Twice a day does me, you know. Yes. Mind well... you, me dad's the one. What is always on the go? Between you and me, he's got a weak ladder. Yes. <laughs> we know he's a window cleaner and he has a weak ladder. We understand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, oh, oh, you yeah. haven't met Nymphia. Oh, yeah. hello. Oh, very nice, very nice. They make a handsome pair, don't they, like you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes, an outstanding pair, Master. Now, we come off it, Senator. We've met before, don't you remember? No. <laughs> well, I know you was a bit slosh, but you... George, know, I'm you... what? No, I'm afraid I... I can't recall ever having had the pleasure. <laughs> oh, you didn't, no. <laughs> but you didn't, I'll try hard to. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Yes, this is she. Look, you. Yes, yes. Look, you. Yes, excuse me. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, you bruise me. <laughs> Except, well, my, my master, might I ask your bosom friend to ease over just a shade? Thank you so much. Right. Yes, master. Look, you. Would you come outside with me for just a moment? Oh. I, I just want to discuss the wine with him, my dear. Why? Yes, this is terrible, terrible luck. You, a dreadful girl. She's so uncouth. Oh, yes, Master, completely without couth. I quite agree. In fact, almost entirely gorblimus. Yes. <laughs> yes. Never mind that. Now I've remembered where it was I saw her. Oh, yes? It's in that dreadful place on the Via Aphrodisia. Oh, yes, the Starkus Club. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so my, my wife would never believe my visit there was wholly innocent. Of course. Oh, I was merely, merely collecting evidence for my new anti-vice bill. Yes, and naturally you, you wanted to get the bare facts. Yes. Naturally. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, look, I must go down to the Senate. You get rid of her. Yes. Quickly. Yeah. Well, 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 but, Quick. Master, what do you mean, get rid of her? Well, we'll, we'll make some excuse. Uh, uh, tell, tell her this trouble in, at home. A trouble, trouble at home? Trouble at home. Yes, yes please. Go on, quickly. Yes, but how can I... Yes, all right. Um, 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 <clears throat> excuse me, uh, miss. Uh, I hear that your place has been broken into. Well, I never pretended to be any Vestal Virgin, did I? <laughs> <laughs> All the best lines this week, you know, just because she's a guest, it's not right. No, miss, um, uh, an intruder has broken into your house. Oh, I see. Well, if me mum's there, he'll wish he hadn't. I was just about to ask you, Nymphia, what does your mother do? In intruders, by the sound of it. Well, she used to be a fish cook in a restaurant. Yes, you can guess which department. On the batter. A fish cook? <laughs> How quaint. And your father? Oh, he's in the second-hand chariot biz. You've probably seen his place. Dexterous as cart mart. Dexterous? Not ambidextrous. <laughs> Here, do you know him, then? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, well, that's a surprise. He knows most of the likely stuff around town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 excuse me, Lurkio. Yes. Thank oh, you. yes, excuse me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we are. Oh, <laughs> quickly, take me outside yes, for some air. Yes, yes. Oh, look, you. Do you know who she is? She's Anne Dextrous' daughter, that oaf who was here this morning. Oh, you mean the one who was trying it on? What? <laughs> your frock, your new frock. Oh, yes, look, you really, this is too embarrassing for words. 
I don't care how you do it, but get her out of the house. Yes. Get rid of her. Get yes, rid of mistress, her. Yes, but, mistress, how can I get rid of her? Get rid of her. It's always the same. It's always me. It's always me. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of the other. <laughs> I don't mind getting rid of this and that, but the other. <laughs> It's so hard to come by. <laughs> of course, not, not for me, being so desirable. But what? <laughs> nose. Do you think your mum and dad like me? Oh, they adored you, as do I. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I dare. What? I will. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I lost control. Oh. <laughs> That's about all you will lose, the way he's going on. <laughs> now, obviously, I can't put him off her, can I? So, now... How can I put her off him? That's the point. How can I put her off him? Pardon? That's a good idea. Yes, frighten her. Yes, thank you. Frighten her. That's what I'll do. It's a good idea. Suggestion there. I'll frighten her. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, young master. Oh, look here. Yes. I, I wish to be alone with my nymphia. Oh. Kindly leave us. Uh, will you be wanting uh, the whip, as usual? The whip? Yes. <laughs> what should I want a whip for? Well, oh, I see. Perhaps you prefer your hobnail boots. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What's he want them for? A bigger kicks. <laughs> well, you, I don't know what you're talking about. Please oh. go away. Very well, young master. But uh, your mother said if you're going to tie this girl up, would you mind not using the new curtain cords? <laughs> Thank you. What? what? Oh, yes. And she said, would you mind closing the windows? Because the neighbours are complaining about the eternal screams. <laughs> you, just a minute. Yes. Does he always treat girls like this? Well, only when he's bored with feeding his vampires. <laughs> I uh, trust you're not anemic. <laughs> you mean to say he takes liberties? Well, I think you could put it that way, yes. Oh, Nymphia, please don't be cross with me. Cross? I'm furious. You do all that to other girls, and the most you've ever done to me is kiss me a hand. Oh, no, it's all lies. I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, I've never been so insulted in my life. It's not true, Nymphia. You know what you are? Oh, he knows. Ain't you a dark horse? <laughs> Here, do you want to come for a walk in the moonlight? <laughs> but it's daylight. Yeah, well, we can hang about a bit, can't we? <laughs> oh, the plan has gone wrong! The plan has gone wrong! Who was that person who was talking about frightening a silly thing to do? Yes, you, sir, with the leather jacket and the moustache and the, and the dog leash. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, madam, I'm sorry. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Hey, I don't care if you are a marriage guidance counsellor. In future, kindly close your gob. Thank you. <laughs> oh, master. Oh, master, I'm very, very sorry. The plan went wrong. I couldn't help it. Mistress, how did I know it would, it would make her even more determined to marry Norseus? Kindly tell Lurkio it's all his fault, Romonia. And will you please tell Lurkio that I entirely agree with you for once, Ludacris. It is quite clear she was merely after his good name and money. Oh, you're so right, mistress. I was talking to Ludacris. Oh. Our only hope now is she can find someone more influential and wealthy. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. Yes, you're... I quite agree with you, Master. I was talking to Ammonia. Oh, get knotted. What? <laughs> and I was talking to myself. <laughs> Now, I, was, I was going to say, before I was so rudely interrupted, I was going to say Lurky, I was going to say, because that's my name. Lurky, I was going to say. If only the master and mistress could find a wealthy suitor, someone richer and more powerful to lure, to lure that girl away from Norseus. Richer and more powerful. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Some, some, some wealthy potentate yes. from the east. Yes, to lure her away. Yes, yes. someone mysterious, dark and sexy. <laughs> well, where can we find a, a wealthy potentate from the east? Oh, we yes. don't know a potentate from the east. Uh, to lure her. Unless... Oh, no, oh, not yes. me. No, I couldn't. No, I'm, I couldn't lure I can't lure <laughs> Who did you expect, Omar Sharif? 
Don't rush <laughs> these girls. Now, please, one at a time. Don't rush. Don't rush me. Rush. Now, sit down. Form a queue. Now, come along. There's plenty for all. Now, don't worry. <laughs> Greetings. Ah, yes, yes. Now, come along, girls. Go back to your tent. Off you go. Come oh, along. Yeah. I have spoken. Off you go. Go along. Come along now. Go on. Get out of it. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. It's the only way to treat a harem. Scare em. <laughs> <laughs> harem, scare em. Oh, please thyselves. Oh, well, now. Greetings, illustrious highness. Uh, greetings, ancient one. <laughs> May the sun shine down upon you. And upon you. And light up your days. And up yours. <laughs> In the red corner. <laughs> the woman you wish to meet. Ah, yes. Nymphia. Ah, Nymphia, Nymphia. Oh, mm. please, I'm sure. Yes, Nymphia, whose beauty of form reminds me of the hanging gardens of Babylon. <laughs> oh, yes. Beauteous, abundant, and above all, two in number. <laughs> what well, say? Are you keen on gardening then? Oh, well, it, well, I, I, I like to get my dibber out occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, yeah, there's a Senate business I must leave. You will understand. Oh yes, of course, uh, ancient one. Yes, in the words of the great Umar Khayyam. He who neglects his official duties is like unto a man who ventures a field on a donkey out on his ass. <laughs> no need to overdo it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, now, ah, my treasure, away with you to the lava bowl. <laughs> yes, have a care of <laughs> Well, don't giggle, it's authentic, this. Now, maidens, come along, please, maidens. Shower her with rose petals, anoint her with oils, and then return her to me for the final polishing off. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Ah. Yes. Now, yeah. listen to me, you. Yes. I'm yes. getting nauseous here, and I want him to find you and her in a compromising position. In a compromising position, yes. Preferably in flagrante delicto. Oh, I don't think I know that one, Master. <laughs> Put out your clothes on. Oh, oh, I couldn't do that, Master. I should disclose my identity. Did you not you? Oh, ah, ah, oh yes. yes. And you have to be quick about it. I, oh, oh, yes, yes. yes. Farewell, illustrious highness. May the gods bless you with strength and boldness in your wooing. Worry not, old one. <laughs> ah, ah, my pearl, my star of the east. Oh, rainbow of my desire. Come, let us taste the fruits of passion. Uh, let us find a handy poof. I? <laughs> oh, you mean that little settee? Settee, settee. I think we turned Vanessa Redgrave down for this part. <laughs> ah, my treasure, my star of the East. Do you know, I've got a funny feeling I've seen your face somewhere before. Really? Mm. Perhaps in your dreams? Oh, no. I never have nightmares. Yes. <laughs> Saucy cow. <laughs> star of my East. Shower of my bunches. Oh, be mine, be mine. Oh, I have a yen for you. Oh, sorry, I don't take Chinese money. <laughs> well, I can't stand these corny gags, can you? Oh, no, no. There is only one thing I want. Yes, well, say what it is, anything. To be the reigning lady of Kazi. <laughs> <laughs> I see you want to share my throne. Oh, I see. <laughs> to be Mrs. Mrs. Caliph? Yes. What do you mean, marry you? Why, have you got something against it? Frankly, yes. In the words of the great Omar Khayyam, a man who enters into wedlock is like a man who occasionally resorts to moneylenders. Hard up for a bit. Not <laughs> sell for anything else. All right, then. If I grant you what you want, will you do something for me in return? Well, that depends. Before or after? No. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> do that dance. That's why it went well, that. Love <laughs> Do that dance. Do that dance you do at the, the Striptus Teasing Club. I've heard it drives men mad, mad with desire. Oh, well, I'm hardly dressed for it. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> well, all right, then. Have you got any music? Yes, of course, oh, my gosh. treasure. Music is... Um... <laughs> 
In the words of the great Omar Khayyam, curses on these bloody slippers. <laughs> Look, the point, Solomon, you see, you keep tripping up, you feel such a fool. Well, I shall bang my gong. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Do you mind, please? Jeremy, would you put on a discus for dancing? Yes, Your Honour. Thank you, Jeremy. Oh, do park yourself. Very well. <laughs> I shall recline here. This is it. Yes. Will you commence? Wait one moment, oh. please. One moment. Let me get my air cooling system going first. <laughs> there we are. Now, where, where do I put this? <laughs> Excuse me, Your Highness. What? There is a visitor. A visitor? Oh, that silly old fool is here already. He's too soon. All right, well, look. All right, show him in. Get him in. Look, quick, uh, sit down oh, here. Oh, well, I haven't finished my dance yet. Don't worry, I'll soon finish you off. Oh. Get back here. Here we are. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 oh! Good evening, Your Highness. I'm Dexter Secundus from the used cart mart. I wonder if I could interest... Cynthia! Oh, Dad! Oh, yes, Dad! <laughs> what are you doing in this man's oh, harem? Get back to your mother! No! And as for you, oh, no, please, you dirty it... old potentate! No, it's oh, this, this man! I'll murder no, you! No, I'll no, kill you! No, It's wicked to mock the afflicted. <laughs> what a day, what a night, eh? I think that old Dagsteiner was right. The signs are, the signs are against the, the true path of love. I think mine must have a no entry sign on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I finish the prologue standing up? No, you're very kind. Well, it came to pass Not that Samson... Oh, what happened to you? Pardon? What happened to you? You ask your fiance. Oh, no, that's all off, Lurkio. All off? I could never marry a girl like that. Why? You see, I found out what she was. You what? You did? Yes. Well, I, I hate to have to say it, yes. but she's a... Yes, say it. She's a... What? A vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe all that work for nothing? Oh, well. In future, I shall stick the job I know best, which is, of course, the prologue. Now, it came to pass... Oh, what? Now, that's all I needed. The time has come. The end is here. Well, she's quite right, of course. The time, the end is here. Tempest has finally fugited. <laughs> oh, well, I can't finish the end of Samson and Delilah, but you haven't missed much. No, you haven't missed anything, really. In the words of the great Omar Khayyam, the legend of Samson and Delilah is like unto a coach party of shoemakers. A load of cobblers. <laughs> Salute <laughs> Thank you. 